The book of Daniel, chapter 11, verse 32b says, But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Welcome to the BWGM January 2023 Prayer Month with the theme, Hold Firm and Do Exploits. Good morning, God's people. Welcome to our day 29, I think, of our January prayer month. My name is Akindele Taiwo, and I'll be bringing you this podcast this morning. Um, we're focusing this morning on 2023 general election, 2023 political scene, I beg your pardon, 2023 political scene and God's intervention. I would like to start with a scripture that says, once has God spoken, twice have I heard that power belongeth unto God. I repeat, once has God spoken, twice have I heard that power belongeth unto God. In other words, what the scripture is saying is that power is God's exclusive property. Power is God's exclusive. God owns power is his property in other words it means that no man no no nothing created can boast can decorate himself or herself in power satan demons angels humans nobody can decorate himself in power it is the Almighty, <laughs> the Almighty, that confers power on humans, on people. If a man is great in life, <coughs> excuse me, if a man is great in life, he is only great because God made him great. <laughs> so, why did I say all these things? I said it because above anything else in the forthcoming general election and all the dramas that will or may be attached to it, never forget that power is God's exclusive property. Don't let anybody make you afraid. He's a man. <laughs> Don't let anybody make you think he's a God. He's a man. No man is God. And God is not man. Numbers 23, 19. Hear that scripture again. He didn't say no man is God. I only added that. He said, God is not man that is should lie. Abi? But I want to add it that no man is God. The only thing God does is just to remove the breath from his nostril and all the power, all the wealth, all the affluence, gone. God rules in the affairs of men. And I want us to understand this morning that we are charged with the responsibility to pray for people in power. Now listen, they are in power. They don't have power. They are only put in power. <laughs> Somebody will say, uh, uh, including the person that rigged election. Listen, if anybody rigged the election and he successfully was sworn in, although he was taken to tribunal and he won at the tribunal, he won at the appeal court, he won at the Supreme Court, eventually he had the office. Listen to me. God knows about it. He may not be in support of the rigging. He may not be in support of the anki-panki way of getting the power but that he successfully held on to the power and he ruled god knows about it or better put god allowed it so don't let us get into this game of i like this person i hate this person listen to me <laughs> god is still god the one you hate the one you hate if that is the one God stamp and God allows to stay there, that is the one that will stay there. But I'm not saying that God gives us wicked people to rule over us. I'm only saying that we have a responsibility to pray 
first timothy chapter 2 he said first of all i exhort first of all that prayers supplications intercession and giving of thanks be made unto god for all men for kings and those with authority that we may lead a peaceable life <laughs> in all godliness and honesty a peaceable life is predicated is 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 built on the kind of works that we have in power a peaceable life of the citizen of any nation of any country is predicated on the kind of rulership they have so our responsibility is to take it to prayer lord we commit the art of these people into your hands proverbs 21 the art of a king is in the hand of the lord and as a river of water he turned it the, the art of a king abi the art of a president is in the hand of the lord and like a river of water he turned it god can god turn the Nebuchadnezzar's heart <laughs> to an, 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 an animal's heart a king ate grass for seven years okay god can turn and the most wicked person god can turn his heart and he begins to do things that god wants even while in power he begin to use the power for God's purpose. Our own responsibility is to pray. So, if we must see, this is where I'm going. If we must see God's intervention, God is not a gate crasher. Are you listening to me, somebody? God does not greet it crash. The heaven of the heavens belongs to God, but the head, as it given to the sons of men, God does not get crash. Uh -huh. He has never done it. He didn't get crash Sodom and Gomorrah. He said, shall I do this thing? <laughs> shall I do this thing? Shall I destroy Sodom without telling my servant Abraham? God does not get crushed upon the earth. He leaves head for man. He has given man the right of attorney to exercise power, to exercise authority over the head, and he will not get crushed it. If God must intervene, if God must interfere, if God must step in into any earthly matter, into any affairs, although God rules in the affairs of men, but if not, he doesn't do it by an autocratic, autocratic means. God rules in the affairs of men. He doesn't do it by veto. Men call God. Men invite God. Men call him to come and step in into their affairs. That is what gives God a legal right to step in into the matters of this life of humans on the face of the earth. So our job, our responsibility is to call forth God's intervention. The church must pray. Believers must pray that God is invited legally to step in into the affairs of this nation that every manipulators everyone who want to manipulate things behind the scene as we raise our voices to pray that god will step in the factor that god will bring in we shut down every scheming listen to me believers if we don't pray remember the wicked one have his own people who are ready who are ready scheming who are casting spell who are casting lots on the days of the election listen to me a lot of events that goes on around the world it goes on by casting spell i don't want to talk about something olympics even fifa football matches it goes on by casting spells so the children of this world jesus said they are wiser <laughs> the children of this world they are wiser in their own generation than the children of light believer beloved come on let's wake up let's invite god for an intervention pray earnestly that god steps in into the affairs of nigeria that we may see the salvation of the lord that the wicked and the hidden will not rule over us he said that the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous so that the righteous will not put for their hands into iniquity may we not see a wicked ruler over our nation may we not see a wicked ruler over our country that the hardship we have been crying about will not increase upon us 
Yes, we are talking about pressing, but there are some pressing that can be avoided. Not this kind of a wicked ruler that is brought over a nation of a righteous people. When the righteous rule, the city rejoices. When the wicked rule, the city mourns. We don't want to mourn. Enough of the death, enough of the killing, enough, enough of the bloodshed, enough of the kidnapping. Let's raise Thank up our voices for joining and in cry on today's unto God of this for podcast. salvation. Join Behold, us again. Same now time, is our salvation near than when this nation was got an independence. Let's pray now and talk to God. God bless you.